All right, so this is a young patient who comes in with chest pain. This is the four chamber view of the heart. These are cine images for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with cardiac MRI. And so this four chamber view, also known as the horizontal long axis view, shows the right atrium and the right ventricle and the left atrium and left ventricle all laid out here. Obviously the mitral valve here flapping in the wind between the left atrium and left ventricle. And we see the tricuspid valve here as well in pretty good detail. And so this looks really good. Both ventricles look like they're functioning normally. There's no localized wall motion abnormality. Here is the short axis STIR T2 image. And we see this abnormal T2 signal in the inferior infralateral and lateral wall of the LV in the base of the LV. So these are 10 millimeters thick. And so we see abnormal T2 signal on at least two slices. So that, that's at least 20 millimeters of LV involvement. So pretty large chunk of abnormal signal. So whether it's edema or inflammation within the LV myocardium. For those of you who don't look at a lot of these cardiac MRI studies, this is a short axis view. So short axis through the heart. So essentially we're cutting through the LV like it's a donut. This is very similar to cardiac spect imaging. So for if the LV were a person, essentially these are axial slices through the LV. And then let me show you the delayed hyper enhancement images. So these are the short axis delayed hyper enhancement images after we've given gadolinium contrast. And so in the same distribution that we saw those that abnormal T2 signal on STIR imaging, we see these areas of abnormal delayed hyper enhancement within the sub epicardial portion of the LV, again, in the inferior wall, infralateral wall, and lateral wall. Very abnormal. So this patient actually ended up having COVID-19 infection, actually was sent home and was doing well, and then started developing chest pain. So this looks to be a case of COVID-19 related myocarditis.